Oh, I'm so tired. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I haven't mowed the lawn in like a week. Hello, honey, I'm home. I'm so glad I married you. It's so beautiful. And, oh, look at the house. He's so good. How? What? What? No! What? What? Oh, must have left a scientific experiment on overnight while I was out bowling with the guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I guess I'll go find a, and clone another wife. Oh well, goodbye. Hello everybody, and welcome to the third shift in the third shifty sort of world. And it's shifty. We are in a new world. This world I built up before I started this series with the Mod Mix 3. What's different with Mod Mix 3, you say to me? And to you, I say. Wait a minute, who am I talking to? Who are you people? I don't see you. Ah, uh, you're the audience! Yay! Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> now I'm just talking to myself. I'm just talking to you, but talking to myself. Talking and talking. Uh, <laughs> now I'm crazy, right? I'm a mad scientist. <laughs> okay. What's different with Mod Mix 3? Uh, I have added in infinite biomes, which expand each biome by a large number of chunks. I have added tornadoes, which randomly spawn, and they're very dangerous, sort of. And they'll suck you up, and normally they would suck up blocks, but I have changed the way they work. Um, now they're it used to... Oh, dear. There's some killing over here. Ah! Or Sparta! Or wherever that is. Oh, where did he go? He, like, jumped over my head. He's like Ninja Knight. what -a! Anyway. <laughs> yeah, uh, the tornadoes were really dangerous, and they were, like, spawning every day, and I had to change them. So if we see a tornado, it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. But we're standing in the middle of my mine colony town, and it looks a lot different than any other mine colony town, you probably say. You're like, there can't be a mine colony town. They don't build buildings like that. No, they don't. What I had them do was build their own buildings, and then I built over them. Because, uh... Yeah, you, you show him. Good job, assassin. Um, these were normal houses. And what I did was... Oh, it's becoming nighttime. Um... Uh, I just let them build their own thing. I built them to level 4, and then I built my own type of houses for them. So each one of these... The door sets is actually a shut up bird. Uh oh, here's a ghost. Is these are all regular houses, and I just made them look more like a you know a town village place kind of thing. Place. Ooh, a heart, a heart, a heart. Ah. And these were warehouses. This is a builder's hut that I built for the builder. Mine is much more keen and clean, and it looks much nicer, and it's all attached to the building, and it looks really good. This is the warehouse. These are three separate warehouses. One, two, and three. And you can see that they've been collecting things. I wonder if any of them picked up any diamond yet. Because I built that stuff up. And I gave them metal tools. Um, <coughs> so, yes. And, of course, I have all of this warehouse space going on. It's made of wood with a stone roof for certain reasons, because of tornadoes. And yes, I haven't used any of this space yet, so I have to start using it soon. Um, none of this was built legitimately. I did spawn everything, almost almost everything. Um, so, <laughs> expect a lot of unexpected things. Sort of. Yes, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm crazy. 
And this is another set of houses, three houses, that I built into bigger houses, and they look much nicer. Here's the town hall. I didn't change that up, except for the fact that the lumberjack kept stealing wood off the sides of the house. <laughs> Thinking they were trees, I guess, and I had to just put planks in, back in place. This is a big church that I built. There's somebody walking on the rafters up there. Um, and this is for Castle Defenders. It's not from the Castle Defenders mod. This is something I built. <laughs> and in this slot, I'm going to be putting a healer, which is one of the new characters in the uh, Castle Defenders that you can make. And they will heal you. So eventually the, the town will get a priest kind of character. And then there's, you know, Lumberjack, Miner, a Farmer, and I'll be adding more Farmers and, and such as I go on. And it's really dangerous to be out here at night because there are so many dangerous things. So I'm going to go into the rather large castle I've built. But first, you know what we should do? <gasps> we should do an epic flyby with lightning and storms and... Yes, that's what I think I'll do. Alright, so I'll be... Well, yeah, I'll be right back, but it's going to be, like, instant for you, so... <laughs> yes, we're going to do an outside flyby of the big castle, and it's big. Look at it. This is just one side of it. So, let's see. The flyby. Epic flyby time! From out of the abyss, in the rainy, stormy place of my new world, comes a new castle. A new place. A new time, and stuff like that. Where I have built a rather large place, and it is time for an epic flyby. Hopefully, everything will render in time as I get there. Would you see the epicness of this castle? And this lightning that is epic too. And on the top you see tornado siren warning stuff. Which sounds really cool when a tornado comes by. And this is the epic flyby. Doesn't it look kind of cool? It's so spooky and desolate looking. Without any inhabitants. And all the horses and spiders in place. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning! It's so well lit up, too. I kind of like how it came out. I hope you do, too. Let me know what you think of this new castle that I spent a week on. <laughs> even, even illegitimately, I still had to spend a week building this castle and the walls and the town I just did today. And it's an epic flyby. Now let's kind of zoom in. You can see there is a tornado detector and siren and all sorts of glass. Oh, look how uneven that is. That is so epically uneven. Oh, it looks pretty good though. I think I did a good job. <laughs> and I hope you think I did a good job. And I keep saying that. And I still have to complete this top of this tower, because evil things can spawn up there. That's really where I want to land the airship. So let's go inside the castle. Okay, hopefully. Let's, uh... Turn down some sound, because thunderstorms can be quite loud. <clears throat> Here we are inside. This is one of the secondary gates of the castle. And since it's night, I don't want to go to the primary gate, because it looks really dangerous. Uh, this is the main foyer. In the rear foyer. It's not really the main foyer. I'll show you the main foyer. This is down to the secret lab, which I'll show you later. Now, we have a goal in Mod Mix 3. And that is to make this whole castle transfer dimensionally into the new universe I discovered, which is coming out with 
in the 1.8 series. <coughs> However, we need a number of things to make this possible. And we need to go into the secret lab. Well, it's not secret, because it's right here in the castle. But it is the heart of the castle. And here is the the main laboratory, which I still have to build up. I don't have much in it. Um, but here is where the, the nuclear reactor will go. And Tesla coils will be all around here. It's lava powered and stuff. And isn't that evil looking? Not really. <laughs> but lava is evil. Ooh, see? The flourish of thunder is always indicative of evil. Yes, evil, evil, evil. Okay, stop doing that. Yep, yes, this is the tour of the castle. So that's this is the lab. And we have to set up a number of scientific things in here in order to transfer this whole castle dimensionally into the 1.8 universe. We will merge slowly these two dimensions together and create a whole new world experience. This is the main big tower that you probably saw on the last flyby. Uh oh! There's a tornado coming. And that tornado ripped open this door before. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the tornado. I don't want to get caught in it because it will suck me out this window. I'm not kidding. But I love that. I love that siren sound. I have no idea where the tornado is coming from. I can hear the wind. Up oh, there it is. Ah, it's already starting to suck me out the window. Ah, Let's watch it pass by. Up, oh, it's <laughs> it's grabbed the spider. Is that it? Where's it still going? Oh, there it is. <coughs> that is a naturally occurring tornado. I did not need a tornado gun or anything like that. But there it goes, into the sunrise. And these tornadoes only occur during really bad thunderstorms. And it used to be that the thunderstorms occurred a lot. Like, every day at the same time. And I changed some numbers and... It didn't do that. And they had ripped up this whole land, too. And that's a creeper explosion. And, um... I'll show you on the map here. See these... See the two scars up on the upper right of the map? Those were caused by tornadoes. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh... And there's a skeleton. We're gonna avoid him. Another tornado? Are you kidding me? Two in one day. Wow. They're supposed to be rare. Oh, there it is. It is suckering. Ah, suckering in there. Urgh. I mean, they're not lethal. They are inconvenient. That's right, almost right above me. You can see all the blocks swirling. It's probably going to pass right over me into this, the main courtyard. Okay. Wow. We are in Tornado Alley. That's probably because I live in the plains. Ooh, what happened? I think I lost sound. I'll be right back. Okay, I think that fixes the sound. Sometimes Minecraft sounds with mods and stuff. With the audio mod, anyway. Uh, just cut out. That's okay. I was giving a tour of the castle. I really was. But whenever I hear those tornado sirens, I'm like, oh, where, 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 where do I go? And it's just the fact that you have to get out of the open area, otherwise you're going to get sucked up and you'll be moved very far away. Okay, so here we are on the upper level. Um, well, one of the upper levels. There are many different levely levels of this place. And this is the kitchen and dining room. This is the main kitchen where feasts are cooked for nobody in particular because another tornado. Wow. It's three in one day. <laughs> this is a pretty bad season, I guess. And uh, it, this is the dining room with the nice view window here. Now, the thing about tornadoes is they... It, the way that you're implemented now is they kind of head towards the player. So you can guarantee yourself with this version, anyway, that um, 
the tornado is going to come your way and you will get caught in it. Maybe in future. Oh my god. And the thing about the... What happened? What happened here? Somebody broke my fence. Oh well, that tornado's passing right above me. And the thing about tornadoes is they are only detected by the. Whoa! What is going on? What happened? Did the tornado rip up my place somehow? There was like holes all over my. No! What? Ah, something happened in here. <laughs> anyway. Oh no! Ogre! Oh no! He's like destroying the castle! No! I will not let this happen! I have to fix that dark area. There's like a major dark area back here that's kind of out of reach, sort of. <laughs> wow. That's some damage I'll fix off camera. That's not a problem. <clears throat> Since I built it all illegitimately, it's not like I'm losing a ton of work from mining and stuff like that. But it is a pain in the butt, especially when I'm falling through holes caused by random things. And I didn't really get to test this castle out in aggressive mode, so yeah. This is the main foyer. Uh, that you saw from the outside, it's the big, the big dome looking place. So there's a lot of dangerous things. This is an unfinished room. Oh, hello, Mr. Spider. That's right, you fell down. Um, so yeah, main floor, some dudes standing on the glass up there. Ugh, people are so rude. <laughs> This is the main throne room where I hold audience to nobody because it's a single player game and it'd be kind of silly. But I am thinking about moving this castle to multiplayer. And I have a, a schematic for it, so it's it's not a big deal that I lost everything. I could just like throw this castle back down if I really wanted to. 